I'm doing a project about sodium hypochlorite for science. I know nothing about it. Oh, I know a lot about it because I did it last year. Oh, Dan, can you help me? Of course I will. From the weird to the insane. <laughs> Sodium hypochlorite. Let's start about the chemical properties. Oh, well, some of the chemical properties are it releases oxygen and decomposes heat and metallic or organic impurities and also when exposed to acid and chlorine it decomposes much more faster i know that the formation of sodium hypochlorite is sodium oxygen and chlorine and it's also a chemical compound but what are some physical properties some physical properties are it has a liquid state, it has a strong chlorine odor, and a greenish yellowish solution. The boiling point is above 40 degrees Celsius, and that's when it slowly starts decomposing, and the melting point is negative 6 degrees Celsius. The molecular weight is 74.44. Oh yeah, it's also 100% soluble in water. The product is prepared by creating dilute cos in soda solution with liquid or gaseous chlorine accompanied by cooling. Cooling must be kept below 40 degrees Celsius. This product could be used as a cleaning solution, get like like making your clothes whiter. Is there like a stain that won't get off with just a regular soap, or like water treatment to make water clean enough for us to drink, or um, pool cleaning so that full water could be clean so we could swim in. Oh, I remember it now. It makes porcelain shine, mold, and germs remover. How safe is it? Well, during the last few years, conclusions drawn are that sodium hypochlorite is safe for humans and the environment. Are there precautions that we should take? Of course, there are safety precautions such as 1. Avoid contact with the eyes, skin, and clothing because it can irritate. 2. Keep container closed and never mix it with other chemical because it can release very toxic gas that can harm or kill people. 3. Children should not reach this product. It's very dangerous when they swallow and it's very poisonous. 4. Also, always wear gloves and wash your hands thoroughly every time you use it. is exposed to the skin, it burns the skin tissues. The pool water solution is between 1.5 milligrams per liter and 3 milligrams per liter depending on the size of the pool. Some advantages could be this product is a very good disinfectant for water treatment and bleaching clothing. negative effect of inhaling the substance may cause irritation in the respiratory system. Swallowing it may cause nausea and vomiting. If sodium hypochlorite drops on your eyes, that may cause severe irritation and damage, especially at higher concentration. If it's not measured properly in pools, it could cause skin burn. Some positive effects are it controls algae in open reservoirs and it also kills germs, bacteria, and viruses in our environment so that they are less hazard in like public places. Some negative impacts are it should not come in contact with air. It can cause disintegrate. 
It can cause fish mortality, decreases in water biodiversity. Biological diversity is a term used to describe the variety of life on Earth. It refers to the wide variety of ecosystems and living organisms, such as animals, plants, their habitats, and their genes. Impact on air. It can create an air pollution cause of air toxic. Positive impacts on human health is that it's used for water treatment so that water could be cleaner. It's also used as a laundry whitener so that it could effectively remove stains. Its low cost and ready availability makes it an invaluable weapon for the maintenance of human health. Some negative impacts could be skin and mucous membrane irritation when exposed to the concentration is greater than 5%. When swallowed, stomach ache, diarrhea, and vomiting occur. Too much chlorine in the water burns the body tissue. Inhaling may cause sore throat, coughing, and vomiting. Skin or eye exposure cause redness and pain. Positive impacts is reports from North America and Europe shows no major health effects after unintentional ingestion or skin contact. It is used extensively in the area of water treatment to, to make it cleaner for us to drink.